Rick Hong here with Hollywood First Look Features. We're in Hollywood for the red carpet premiere of Condor. Let's take a first look. Run, get out! Go, go, go. One of them got away. We can't move forward with him out there. The manhunt is centered on alleged mass shooter Joseph Turner, who is believed to have killed a lesson. Get in! The agency's been compromised. I don't know who I can trust. You recruited him, you trained him, and your record would be permanently stained by his guilt. Small world, Joe. No place left to hide. Okay, so I saw the pilot, and you're terrific in it, but I want to know, did you, when you get to the end, did, were you like, I need, I need the next script, I need to start reading, oh, because... Definitely. Oh, definitely. To this day, I'm bucking Jason, what's going to happen? I want to know. And whenever I was reading every episode, I was like, okay, I can't wait to read the next. And that's really good. That's really what, why also, it, other than a lot of factors, why it attracted me to the, um, the project, because a good script means a good project. Um, so yeah, for me it was a good go, and let's commit to this, and let's shoot this for six months in Toronto, let's do this. So the pilot hints to this, but it doesn't blatantly say that your character is evil, but okay. I want to say she is. It's like, how much fun did you... I say she's no. evil, okay. but just say her ways of doing things would, for a normal person, be considered evil. But she's doing it not because, well, maybe, maybe, yeah. There's, there's a, she enjoys it. That's, that's what's evil a little bit about her, that she enjoys her job too much. But um, I wouldn't say that she's evil. She has her reasons, and you will get to find out. When this project comes to you, do you have you did you already see the movie or read the books before? Um, here's I I auditioned for Sam Barber, and before I went in to meet John Papsidera, I watched the movie. I rented or you don't rent anymore. I just bought it on I, I you know <laughs> my iTV Apple TV or whatever, uh, and watched the the Redford uh, film, which I thought was great and interesting. I think the love story was sort of forced into that movie, and so what we've done with this show is made it a lot more realistic and a lot more interesting and more complex. And I think the fact that we were able to tell this in 10 episodes allows the story to breathe, which it didn't get to do in the film, even though the film's, you know, a classic and it's hard to knock on classics, but I think we've, we were able to improve on the material. I watched the pilot. I loved it. Love you and everything you do. So your character's about to have some bad days soon. He's, he might. He might have some bad days. I don't know how much I could talk about that, but yeah, I mean, he's this guy's best friend, and this guy's in a heap load of trouble. So I'm pointing to Max Irons next to me. So yeah, I, he might. He might get caught up in the crosshairs. You have to be like pretty. Do you have to be pretty physically fit because you're running around a lot. You're shirtless. I mean. There was a lot of running. There was, a, and there was the shirtless scene. I, I, I'm, I like that you think I'm physically fit. That's a very nice thing to say. Uh, yeah, safe to say I was in a great deal of pain after all that running. Yeah. Okay. So you work with some greats, like you're like in some scenes, like opposite William Hurt, opposite Bob, Bob Balaban. Are you, you get a little intimidated in those scenes, or you're like, no, 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 I'm gonna bring my take. I'm Max Irons. No problem. In all honesty, intimidated. Yeah, I mean, you know, these these are some truly great actors with with huge backlogs of work that I have watched my entire life. There was a scene in particular with Bob and William, and you you know you it's cliche, but you have to pinch yourself and you have to you know really bring your A game because they can do this stuff in their sleep. Uh, so yeah, yeah. So for me, I got to the end of the episode and I was like, damn it, there is no episode two for me to watch yet. But but for you, when you get when you get to the end of the script, did you have like number two to like ready to go to start? Like, which is not often the case. We in fact had the whole ten, which was phenomenal. So I knew where I was going, so to speak, for the whole journey. Uh, which is you know often you have one episode and then the next one changes or you know you're shooting out of sequence. So in fact, what you think you've done, you in fact haven't done. But that was not the case here at all. So how far ahead did you get before you're like, okay, my eyes are tired? In, what, in terms of reading? Yeah. Oh, buddy, I read the whole lot. Are you kidding? Wow. You know, it's six months of my life. I have to know what I'm signing up for. Do you, does your, does your, do you ask your dad for any pieces of advice? I mean, yeah, occasionally. Not, not to do with the nuts and bolts of acting, more to do with the business side of things. But, you know, he's, he's, he, he's very respectful of the fact that he does things his way, I do things my way. He came up, he was my age at a very different time. And he also understands that it's important to have 
your own successes and your own failures and to learn from both of them. Uh, and you know, it's also, it's a little like when your parents teach you how to drive. You know they're right, you know they're giving you good tips, but, but you want to tell them to f off anyway. You know? Man, you're doing the right thing so far. I can't wait for you to like blow up even more. I mean, you're gonna be a big star, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Rick Hong.